Have you ever wondered how to get started in the freelance gig economy? And this is going to be a longer video, but you're going to want to like and save this for later. I'm Jamie, and I do voiceovers on a freelance basis. And I have a live coming up on Monday where I'm going to break down the freelance gig economy and voiceovers. But I wanted to give you some tips just in case you're looking at getting started and you're not quite sure where to start. So the majority of my work comes from Upwork, but I'm also on Fiverr and a couple of other platforms. The reason I like Upwork is because I can go in and apply for jobs. So each and every day I go in, look at the jobs, save some, apply for some, and this is how I remain consistent. So number one, if you don't show up and you don't remain consistent, you will not get jobs. I talk to a lot of people who say they don't get jobs in voiceovers, and my first question is, how much are you auditioning? Because that's a major part of voiceovers. One other tip you can do with the freelance gig economy is go to Upwork, go to Fiverr, look at the people that are in your skill set, look at their descriptions, look at their portfolios, look at their hour or their rates. And with the rates, it gets kind of tricky. You're going to have to start off low. That's because you're just starting. But I would start maybe with your hourly rate. And when you start with your hourly rate, you start getting some clients, building your portfolio, you can increase your pricing. But if you notice when you increase your pricing that your clients kind of drop off, you may need to lower it a little bit and raise it just a slightly more in smaller increments. Um, so pricing, there is no real rhyme or reason to it, but I see people who are successful that start at lower rates and continue to build as their clients uh, increase. Another good thing you can do is if you want to get on these platforms, you have to have them with the search engine optimization, meaning keywords that people are looking for that are in whatever skill set that you are doing. So if you want help with that, click the link and join my private community. Another good thing that I have learned about the freelance gig economy is relationships. If you build relationships with your clients, they will come back. Most of my clients are repeat clients, which works for me because I know that they're going to come back to me and I know that I'm providing quality work. Another thing, over deliver. If you can over deliver on delivery time, if you can over deliver on one little simple thing, it's going to make those people come back to you because you set yourself apart from everybody else. If you want more tips about the freelance gig economy, catch my live on Monday and you can do that by clicking the link. And I'm going to break down voiceovers. I'm going to break down kind of the freelance gig economy. I've talked to copywriters. I've talked to insurance people. All of these skills can be freelanced online and the digital era is growing. So you're not going to want to miss my life. Drop in the comments if you have any questions. Click my link and have a great day.